The system restore point is a feature that Windows 10 uses to save the system state before any event that can impact the system performance or stability happens. So, if there is any issue caused by these events, the user is able to undo the changes made to the system and come back to the last stable system state. Windows 10 automatically creates a restore point before any of the following events. Application installation. If the application installation causes system problems, you can restore the system to the state that precedes the installation. Windows updates. Windows 10 creates a restore point before an update is installed. So if the update causes some issues and this happens sometimes, you can restore the system to a stable state. System restore point. Windows 10 automatically creates a restore point as a backup before any restore operation starts. This way, if you accidentally restore Windows to an incorrect restore point, you can undo that restoration. Besides creating a restore point automatically, Windows 10 allows you to create manual restore points. This is useful when you want to make changes to the system that can lead to some issues like, for example, modifying registry keys. To create a restore point, open the Windows settings. In the search bar, I type restore point. I click on the best match. On the System Properties panel, under Protection Settings, you can see that the protection is enabled for the C drive, which is the system drive on which Windows 10 is installed. This means that Windows 10 is able to create a restore point. The system protection is enabled by default, but if for any reason this is not enabled, you can enable it. Just click on the Configure button, then click on Turn on System Protection. Under the Disk Space Usage section, you can set the disk space used for system protection. By default, Windows 10 allocates this space based on the size of the hard drive. In most cases, you don't have to change this parameter. Now, let's create a restore point for the C drive. For that, I click on the Create button. Then, I need to type a description for the restore point. You need to give your restore point a meaningful description that reflects the event you are going to create. For example, I'm creating this restore point before installing the CCleaner software, so I enter before CCleaner install. So if I face any issue caused by this software, I can select this restore point and restore my system state from there. The restore point was created successfully, okay? Now, let's check the restore point I just created by clicking on the System Restore button. This table lists the existing restore points on my computer. There is the automatic restore point created automatically by Windows 10. You have to know that besides the events that lead to creating an automatic restore point we listed at the beginning of this lesson, that are application installation, Windows Update and Restore Operation. If any of those events happen during 7 days, Windows 10 will automatically create a restore point. And here is my restore point I manually created. In this column, you can see the type of the restore point, manual or system. OK? So now I'm going to install the CCleaner software. Then I will try to restore my system to the state that preceded this installation and see how all these things work. Now that this software has been installed, I'm going to open the restore point panel and check if Windows 10 has automatically created the restore point. On the table, I have two restore points, the manual restore point and the automatic restore point. I'm going to select the automatic one and click on the scan for affected programs button to see what programs will be affected if I restore my system state. On this panel, we have two tables. The first one lists the programs and drivers that will be deleted after restoring. As you can see, the CCleaner program and Google Chrome, which was installed by the CCleaner installer, are the latest programs I recently installed. So if I do a system restore, I will lose those programs. 
The second table lists all programs and drivers that may be restored. In my case, the list is empty. Now I'm going to select the automatic restore point and go ahead. I click on finish. A warning message pops up. It says that the system restore cannot be interrupted once started. I'm okay with that. The system is now preparing the restore. This process can take a few minutes to complete and lead to a computer restart. After I log on, I get this information message that the system restores completed successfully and my documents have not been affected. Good news. I already can see that the CCleaner and Chrome icons have disappeared from my desktop. But let's do another verification by checking the installed applications from the Windows settings panel. Click on Apps. I scroll the list and see if CCleaner or Chrome are in the apps list. It seems that the restore removed them as expected. 